Hello my friends, welcome to Top Classical Music. Today we will present a short biography about Francois Copran. Francois Copran, often referred to as Copran le Grand, was a renowned French composer and harpsichordist who lived during the Baroque era. Born on November 10, 1668, into a family of musicians, he was surrounded by music from an early age. His father, Charles Coupran, and his uncle, Louis Coupran, were both prominent musicians, and they played a crucial role in shaping his musical education. At a young age, Francois Coupran displayed exceptional talent and a natural inclination towards composition and keyboard performance. He received formal training in music and quickly gained recognition as one of the most gifted harpsichordists and composers of his time. His skills were highly appreciated in the royal court, and he became a favored musician of King Louis XIV. In 1693, Francois Coupran was appointed as the organist at the prestigious Church of Saint Gervais in Paris, where he composed several sacred works. However, it was his harpsichord music that garnered him lasting fame. He composed numerous harpsichord suites, characterized by their elegance, grace, and intricate ornamentation. His keyboard compositions showcased a unique blend of French and Italian styles, creating a distinctive and influential musical language. In 1713, Francois Coupran published his most celebrated work, Pieces de Clavecin, a collection of four volumes of harpsichord music that solidified his reputation as a master of the instrument. Each piece in these collections was intricately crafted, displaying his deep understanding of keyboard technique and musical expression. Coupran's compositions were admired not only in France, but also throughout Europe, and his music influenced many later composers, including Johann Sebastian Bach. His legacy as a composer and performer continued to thrive long after his death on September 11, 1733. Today, Francois Coupran is remembered as one of the foremost representatives of French Baroque music. His contribution to keyboard music and his profound impact on the development of the harpsichord repertoire remain an enduring testament to his brilliance as a composer and musician. His works continue to be cherished and admired by musicians and audiences alike, making him an immortal figure in the history of classical music. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video.